Will Cardiff City edge closer to a great escape, or will Chelsea travel back to West London with all three points? Watch until the end of this match preview to hear all of my thoughts on tomorrow's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my Cardiff City vs Chelsea preview for the game which will be taking place tomorrow at the Cardiff City Stadium with kickoff being at 5 minutes past 2pm UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly I'll be giving you the team news concerning both sides and as always I'll be starting off with the home side which in this case will be Cardiff City, then I'll be giving you my team or my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you and lastly I'll be giving you my score prediction along with Paul Merson's score prediction and some of Google's probabilities. So without further ado, let's get straight into this match preview. So getting straight into the Cardiff City team news, there are two stories concerning the Cardiff City first team and the first one is to do with Callum Patterson and that is that he damaged his ankle ligaments whilst playing for Scotland in their Euro 2020 qualifier in San Marino and will play no further part this season. The second story concerning the Cardiff City first team is to do with Sol Bamba, Matthew Connolly and Harry Arter and that is that they will also be sidelined. So that's the Cardiff City team news out of the way. Getting straight into the Chelsea team news, there are also two stories concerning the Chelsea first team and the first one is to do with Ruben Loftus-Cheek and that is that he is expected to shake off a back issue in time for Chelsea's trip to Cardiff tomorrow. Um, getting straight into Chelsea's second story, um, it's to do with Davide Sapacosta and Ethan Lampadu, and that's that Davide Sapacosta's ankle problem will be assessed, as will Ethan, Ethan Lampadu's back concern. So that's it for the team news. Now for my lineup, and as always, starting off with the formation. It is going to be a 4 3 3 with that deep line playmaker involved. How did you lot guess? I'm guessing that you lot have gotten used to me saying that. But yeah, I'm getting straight into the personnel in which I've chosen. I've gone with Kepper in goal. I've gone with a back four from right to left of Cesar Aspilicueta, Antonio Rudiger, David Luiz and Marcos Alonso. I've gone with a midfield three of Jorginho in that deep line playmaker role with N'Golo Kante and Ross Barkley just ahead of him. And I've gone with a front three from right to left of Callum hudson odoi Gonzalo Higuain and Eden Hazard. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my lineup um, in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond. But yes, that is the lineup in which I've gone with. Now getting straight into the last section of this preview, which is of course the prediction section. And starting off with Paul Merson's score prediction, he has gone with a 3-1 Chelsea win as he believes that this could be a big weekend in the race for the top four. He also sees Chelsea winning as he believes that they'll just have too much for Cardiff City and that will leave Spurs needing to get a result at Liverpool. Some of Cardiff City's home results recently have been alarming and they've come against lesser teams than Chelsea. So that's exactly why Paul Merson believes that Chelsea will get the 3-1 victory tomorrow. Now moving on to Google's probabilities, um, Google have gone with a 12% chance of a Cardiff City victory, a 21% chance of a draw and a 67% chance of a Chelsea victory. Now to conclude this preview, I'm going to give you my score prediction. I have also gone with a 3-1 Chelsea victory, but for different reasons. I think that Cardiff City will score first because they are fighting relegation and will want to get an early goal. In addition to this, I think that Chelsea haven't been great defensively in recent games. I do not think that this will be an easy game, but I think that Chelsea should have enough to get the job done. So that's exactly why I've gone with a 3-1 Chelsea victory. And that is the end of this preview. I hope you enjoyed it. I do apologise for stuttering. I am still recovering. But yes, thank you all for watching. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very, I'll see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on you blues and peace.